Hello there assassins, welcome back to the Cobra Kai Dojo Tutorials. Today we're going to be building episode 2 of the Cobra Kai Dojo uh, and basically just furnish the entire thing, getting it ready for some new students. Are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and get some materials and get started. Okay then assassins, so first things first, we're going to start in the gym back here just because it is, I think, the biggest area in the dojo. If we can get this out of our books then uh, we have a lot more time to work on other things. Let's go ahead and take a lever some blocks of iron, redstone repeater, red wool, smooth quartz stairs, an oak plank, deep state brick stairs, nether brick fence, and a barrel as well. Alright then, firstly, we're going to come down here, we're going to build ourselves a wall of four planks like so. We'll do a lever here on the deep state, and then we're going to go for two blocks of iron above with a redstone repeater that way around and the two little prongs or the torches kind of sticking away from each other like so. That's our boiler. We'll take a stair in here, smooth quartz stair, red wall just goes here, deep slate brick stairs here, upside down here, normal the opposite direction and upside down again opposite the upside down. Two nether brick fences go here and a brow goes against the wall just here. Now we may as well use the rest of our deep slate uh, brick stairs over here because there's going to be those two tires as well over this direction. Now these go against the uh, the kind of Cobra Kai never dies sign, um, so they are going to be just towards this direction. Now I need to go check exactly where they are, uh, I'll be right back. So they're going to go over here, one, two, and then we go down to the floor for one, two, three, on four we build a kind of circle with our stairs like this, try to find the one that connects like so. And then we do another one just against the wall over here. Once again, try and find the stair that connects into a circle. Uh, it can be a bit tough, so just keep trying until you get it. There we go. Lovely jubbly. All right, we're going to need to get some more materials. Now we will need some blackstone slabs, a black shulker box, nether brick slabs, nether brick stairs, a spruce trap door, a red shulker box, grey shulker boxes, grey wool, and some polished blackstone brick wall. Why were so many of those materials had S's in? I'm like sh 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 sh, lisping all the time. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and place our trapdoor here and one in front of the barrel just here, folded upwards. A space away from the barrel, we do a black shulker box here, a blackstone slab to the left of that one. Uh, over next to this fence, we do an upside down nether brick slab, nether brick slab? Nether brick stair, then a slab behind that one and an upside down nether brick stair the other side of it for like a dojo table if you like just there. We'll do ourselves a red shulker box here and a grey one on top of that over next to the door. We want to build in a mat just here so that the students obviously don't hurt their knees when they're falling to the ground from being kicked in the face or something. <laughs> so we need to go ahead and make sure there's a rug here. It's going to go right beside the door so a block away, up this way and to reach where that slab would have been if I didn't destroy it, like so. And then we're going to go along this way until we are a block past the doorway just here. We may need to move the tires backwards just by a block in a moment. So I'll go ahead and just fill in this space with our grey wall and this will be our new training mat back here in the, uh, the gym. Voice break, lovely. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Let's add in another punching bag that up this way. This one is going to go in line with the wall over here. So this wall. And it's going to go obviously along the mat, on the mat, one, two, and three. So dead center of the mat here. Exactly the same as that one over there. Now we've used our grey wall. Let's move our tires just back a block up this way. Like this. Making sure that they are not on the map because we don't want them to be but we just want them to be in their own little area back there. Now also back towards this direction we can add in what looks like to be a draining pipe or maybe some type of heating pipe or something um, on this wall and it goes literally on the wall just here from the floor to the ceiling. Now over here we're going to add in our little sort of bench over here for the weights so we're going to go one two slabs out the wall and an upside down stair will go in here, like that. That should be three blocks away. Maybe we didn't need to move the tires after all. 
Oh gosh. Sorry guys. Should have probably slept more last night. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just sort that out. I mean, you can have them anywhere in the dojo because they do change. In the back of this um, like uh, gym area, we do see a lot of different changes throughout the seasons. Like a lot of stuff gets moved around because, of course, it is an active dojo. So um, there's going to be a lot of change and stuff going on. But yeah, you don't have to have it the same as me. Feel free to change it. I'm just going to shorten the mat down a little bit here, just like so. So yeah, it goes into the, the wall just there. Perfect. All right, that is looking perfect now. Brilliant. Well done, guys. Let's get some more bits and bobs. Now we'll next take ourselves an iron trap door, some waxed exposed copper, a bone block, some birch signs, some jungle trap doors, lightning rods, item frames, blackstone stairs, polished andesite stairs as well. So what we're going to do with the, uh, sorry, the iron trap doors is we'll go for one, two just here, overhanging this wall, it's fine, and then a block up from it, on the lowest point of that block, add in two more, shift or crouch click just to place that one, and that is our little dumbbell shelf just there. We'll take ourselves this kind of locker, which goes up the wall to the windows here, with our copper, with two jungle trap doors on top, and then item frames go on the front of this, with our lightning rods in at an angle. These are going to be for the little locker door handles. Oops, oh, I knew I'd mess up one. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Back here, we're going to take ourselves bone blocks and we're going to use these against the wall this way so we have the hollow part of the bone poking towards this way. And we're going to go for about five of these in total. We want to do this for two layers like this. And then on these, we're going to have ourselves birch signs with an open and close bracket for little handles like this. It's fine to be on the top of the sign, by the way. It'll be all good, whatever way you do it. Just go ahead and make sure you have a sign on each of the bone blocks, just so it covers most of the hollow part of the bone, but leaves us with enough space to see, like so. Perfect, all right, nice one, guys. In this corner, we're gonna do ourselves a blackstone stair, and then we'll do a unit over here with ups and down and side stairs upwards for four so against the window again and then we want to do them directly next to them so you may have to place a few just to get them in there and then remove them just like so now then for our weight bench back here we're going to need to take ourselves a piston a block of redstone this is about as technical with redstone as i get just using a piston <laughs> we're going to need an armor stand as well a netherite helmet a lightning rod a chain mud brick stairs iron trap doors just in case we have to remove these which i think we will and polish andesite stairs again for the same thing all right firstly we want to go ahead and stick ourselves armor stands one here and one here and what we're going to do with these is we're going to crouch just to change them into a static pose like this come out of the crouch or shift click and place a helmet on top of these like so so they should be facing towards each other with the bench between them Basically, we want lightning rods to be coming out of their heads because the heads are going to represent the dumbbells. So we obviously want to go ahead and stick the lightning rod through them, which in turn means we have to use a piston. Now we're going to go ahead and take ourselves the mud bricks here, here, and then we do them backwards here and here, like that. We want to do a chain between them for the middle of the, the dumbbell kind of uh, rail here, so that's where you hold to, uh, to pick it up. And then we're going to do the lightning rods on each side. I'm going to remove these trap doors. I'm going to place myself a piston ready to go here. A lightning rod here. So this kind of bigger part is facing towards the armor stand. And then a block of redstone behind. That pushes it through. And we have ourselves one part of it done. Replace the trap doors now. And let's come to the other side. Over here we must do the same thing. So we're going to have to destroy a little bit more of the scenery. It's a bit, a bit awkward. We may have to go outside for this one. Let's pop outside, sort this out. So around here, we're going to need to face the way of our armor stand. With our lightning rod like so. And then when we come back outside, which is a bit of a pain, we can build ourselves the piston. And things like this. Maybe we should have done this in the beginning. <laughs> it's all good. The hard way, sometimes the best way. There we go. 
So that sorts that out. And then we can just go ahead and replace our andesite in here. And then of course go back outside and just replace the wall that I have messed up <laughs> back here. <laughs> it's not too bad. There we go. Wonderful. Let's get some new bits and bobs. So now we have one fully furnished gym, besides the banners of course. We're going to come onto the hardest room yet. It is of course the tiny little toilet in here. <laughs> We're going to take ourselves some smooth quartz stairs, uh, iron trap doors, blocks of iron, stone buttons, smooth quartz slabs, smooth quartz block, a stone pressure plate, and item frames as well. On the ceiling, go ahead and surround the lantern with your iron trap doors. Place an iron block here and here. Upside down quartz stair here. Iron trap door on it like so. A stone button at the very top. Two smooth quartz blocks here. Smooth quartz slabs on top. Item frames on this cupboard. And then pressure plates on their sides in the cupboard like so for little handles. Perfect. That is done. <laughs> Simple stuff. Uh, if you want to take yourself a door, a door, by the way, and just stick it maybe here open, feel free. That will look cool as well. All right, let's get on to the office. All right, then, guys. So for the office, we will take a white shulker box, an oak slab, oak trap doors, some blue carpet, oak stairs, wax oxidized cut copper stairs, a block of iron, an iron trap door, and a stone button. Also, for some reason, I have a leakage. Oh, oh I stopped doing it now. Thank goodness. <laughs> the rain was coming through my ceiling somehow, which is really weird. <laughs> Alright, let's take a white shulker box. Let's go for two here. Oops, be careful not to open them. You may have to shift or crouch click just to place the two layers like this. And we come around the corner here for that, those two as well. Let's build a block here with our oak slab. We'll do another one here. We'll place a stair just here. We'll go ahead and place a trap door here, here, fold on the front of there here and then fold on the front of there. Blue carpet on that one just for some papers or something. A wax oxidized cut copper stair here and then as we have it we may as well do them out here as well. We need to do one just over near the trophy area which is going to go right here. Apologies for the bad weather. Um, we're also going to do another two, one here and one here like that. Awesome. Now we can come back into the office and not worry about the stairs anymore. Let me change the weather. Now that is bright and sunny skies again, let's take two iron blocks next to the cut copper stair. We have two stone buttons on, iron trap doors on top of that. And now over here, on the lowest point of the block under the window, place an iron trap door here for later. And we also want one this side as well. We may as well just place them now, save us having to grab it later. This one goes just in the end of this window over here on the I think it's on the lowest point of this second window, like that. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. That's really good. We will, we will have to grab the stone buttons later, but that's okay. Save us some trouble with the rest of the stuff. There's also going to be another um, iron uh, trapdoor just over here. It's going to be in the middle of this window, just there. Lowest point of the block again. But yeah, guys, that is it for this. Let's go ahead and get some more. All right, so we'll next take ourselves some white stained glass some dark oak planks, some dark oak trap doors, some spruce stairs, item frames, smooth stone slabs, some spruce planks, spruce slabs, and some wax oxidized copper. So sorry about my lisp. It was like pss, 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 the entire time. Ah, oh, right, let's do a white stained glass just here with an item frame on it, and then dark oak planks below that one with a trap door folded against it like so. It's gonna be for our coffee machine. We want to go ahead and stick ourselves a cluster of four wax oxidized copper in the corner and it's going to have two slabs on it like so. Next we want to stick a seat just here which is going to be one block away from the wall just here. We'll do a block just here and a block just here but I believe this one is going to have an armor stand in so maybe hold up on the block there. Let's do a slab just here though and then of course remember there is going to be a block there for later. We'll do two up down stairs just here. This one has an item frame on, these two have item frames on, and there's going to be three item frames below the window to the left here. We're also going to need to stick ourselves the stone slab just here, the smooth stone slab, and that is awesome. Good stuff, alright. We need a few more materials in here, but as we have the, arm, um, the item frames, we may as well stick some out here as well. 
Now sadly there is going to be one on a table out here, but it is an oak table, so you may have to grab one at least later. For now though, let's stick one just here, for the little notice board for when classes are and things, and I believe that's it for this area. Now we're almost finished with the office, we will take ourselves an armor stand, an iron helmet, a lantern, a piston, block of redstone again, spruce planks once more, stone buttons, milk, and some paper. We can also stick some paper in this item frame here for the sort of schedule, just there. Let's do three, uh, three sheets of paper up here on the wall, and we can also place one just here on the side here. Milk in this one, stone buttons on these four, and then we need to stick an armor stand just here, diagonally, with the hands kind of forward like that, iron helmet, lantern like so, and then we need to push a block into the armor stand here. So place a block here, knock out the wall for a second, redstone in there, piston in here. Crumbs, that did not go the way I expected. Okay, we'll stick a block behind first, <laughs> like this, and then we'll do it again. That there, there we go. Now we can still pose the armor stand like so, we'll be poking out a little bit, but that's okay. And then we can stick the stuff back on it for the little lamp there like so. Build the wall back in, and there we go. Awesome, I think that we've used everything we can here, so let's get some more materials. Okay, so the last materials for the office is going to include a book and quill and a tripwire hook. And now to get started on the dojo, we will need some light blue stained glass, some smooth quartz stairs, some dark oak slabs, some black and some red carpet, a grey shulker box, and some polished deep slate wall. We're going to come in here and we're going to go for a book and quill on the side just here, and a tripwire hook at a diagonal just here. This office is now completed. Now out here we'll do ourselves a light blue stained glass against the window here and then an upside down um, smooth quartz stair here. Tripwire hook on the front and there's our little water fountain and then we want to do ourselves two upside down quartz stairs here and with two literally next to it as well. Oops, it gets a bit awkward this one to be honest. There we go. Nope, nope, nope may have to place the ones for the cupboard firstly or cabinet firstly because it can be a bit troublesome and there we go like so awesome or you can even do it the other way around and then add a slab on it is up to you guys I think I did a slab on my original one um, so what I did was I swapped out my stair now for a quartz slab smooth quartz slab and just did this like so up to you guys looks good either way now over this way we want to add in ourselves another sort of punching bag or something so we're going to add in a block of grey shulker box here so that is two blocks technically away from the stair here and then two lots of deep slate wall on top of it so you may have to shift or crouch click for those two like that now we take our big lot of uh, carpet in here so we're going to need our black carpet starting on the second one in on this grey and going right the way along until we're two blocks from the end of the dojo. Now we build along this way until we're a block from the end and then we build, uh, build this back into like a, a big rectangle just here. Then we line it with red just for one layer and then we do black in the center as well just for these four rows like that. Now way down this end coming closest to the mat rather than the wall in the center of the mat so it's these two blocks here you go ahead and stick yourselves slabs on the highest point of that block just there and these will be ready for the table <coughs> excuse me we'll do black carpet on top <laughs> voice break and then we'll do ourselves a dark oak stair here upside down and here upside down so we can place the black carpet on top of them as well like so Awesome. Now to complete this bit of the dojo, we will take an anvil, some brown mushroom block, a head, a bell, an item frame, a totem of undying, an oak slab, oak stairs, and a yellow candle. Now then, with this mushroom block, we're either going to use the brown mushroom block or the original one before it kind of changes. So if you have your self in survival, it will change over time into a different so the brown mushroom block will change from the mushroom block. So literally you just need the normal mushroom. It's got that kind of tan color. We will go just here, basically the other side of this uh, 
this stair over here, kind of similar to what we did here, leaving like a block. We build an anvil, our mushroom, shift or crouch click to place it, and then we want a head at a diagonal up here. That's kind of the dummy up there. Over towards this way, on the window, stick three item frames, do a totem in the middle, and then bells on either side. Those are trophies. Then in here, we will do ourselves a oak stair here against the, uh, the normal oxidized copper stair. And then we'll do slabs all the way around this corner now from the stair. On this one over here, stick a bell against the wall. And then we want ourselves an item flame, flame? <laughs> item frame here with a totem in facing that way. And then we'll do candles on this one just here. Three looks kind of good. Yellow candles look the best as well because they're kind of more golden. Awesome. We need a little bit more material here and then we'll get making our banners. All right then, so to complete our dojo, we will take a chain and a weighted pressure plate, the gold one. We're also gonna need a loom, uh, three white banners, blue dye, red dye, black dye, and some white dye as well. In here, stick yourself the chain in the corner and then do a gold pressure plate on top of it like so. Let's stick our loom in our dojo. Let's just stick it maybe here in the middle, just so OCDs don't play up. <laughs> Let's stick ourselves our white banners in our inventory, all spread out. And then we want to go ahead and make our kicking sort of stances on the dojo uh, walls. So we have ourselves a banner here, a white banner goes in, our black banner goes in. We will get ourselves this line here, which is called the black pale dexter. Then we want ourselves these two opposite lines here and here to make a K. And then we're going to go ahead and make ourselves this bottom kind of triangle down here. So it fills in one of the holes. That's called a chevron. That is one of our kicking signs. And if you want to go ahead and add in the border, sort of the white border around it, it looks kind of cool. So just go ahead and add that in if you wish, just there like so. I'm going to do my other kicking stance, which is kind of the opposite way around. So I literally need to go with a um, pale sinister here. And then I'm going to make a line in the middle now for an arm of our karate sort of student and then I'm going to go with this diagonal line here for like the kick upwards. I'm going to take my black die out and put my white die back in for the border and we have our two kicking stances here. For the American flag we take a white banner in, we take ourselves some red die in, we go with just these lines here that's called a red pally and then we swap out the red die for the blue die and we add in the little top left square up here. The blue Chief Dexter Canton. Perfect. We don't need to border that one because it's the American flag, doesn't need a border. Good stuff. We're gonna go ahead and add in ourselves a left kick over here on the wall, two blocks in from the wall here. We wanna do ourselves a right kick over here in the middle. Now then over this way, on this wall over here, we will do ourselves again two blocks in left kick, a block away, three American banners just here. Now over on the trophy wall, we can also add in some American banners here and here. And then outside the front of the dojo, we're gonna add in ourselves the kick stances and a bunch of plain white banners. It's very important to have the, the normal white banners as well to really make the karate ones kind of stand out and more definitive. So let's take a normal white banner too. We want to do two white banners here, so basically on the stained glass is all going to be bannered up. Karate kick to the right, that one and that one, so normal white banners. Leave the entrance way empty. Four more white banners here, one down here. Left kick, two more normal white banners. We'll do a white banner down here, and then along this way we do four once more. One down here, right kick and then four normal white banners down here. That just looks awesome. Hell yeah, it really adds to the uh, the whole like effect of the dojo, making it look really, really badass. And now all there is left to do is in the back of the uh, dojo back here, in the gym, there are three more American banners above the doorway and along to the left. And over here, there are another three, one block down from the ceiling, just there. Now we need to get the Cobra Kai Never Die sign and then the strike sign out the front here and we're pretty much finished. All right then guys, so we have some very tough banners ahead of us, but don't worry, it's gonna be good. We're gonna take ourselves 13 gray banners, some gray dye, 
and some white die. Then we're going to need a black banner, single one, black die, red die, and yellow die. We're also going to need two banner patterns. We will need ourselves Borgia Indented and Globe. Awesome. Already we have our loom here. We're going to go ahead and spread out our grey banners in our inventory. And these are going to be for the Cobra Kai Never Dies um, motto on the back wall. So I'm just going to spread them all out in my inventory. Making sure that each one has a slot. And then it will be much easier to work with. Now then, we're going to start with our C. Nice and easy. Grey banner in. White die goes in. Left line. Then we want to go for the bottom and top lines like so. Chief Fess and base fest like so and we'll board it and dent them all later so C O is literally a C with just an extra line so you just do this this and then this like so white base fest white pale sinister white pale dexter white chief fest for the B of Cobra Kai it is basically an O with an extra line in so we're basically picking all of the same letters at the moment so, Pale Dexter, Pale Sinister, Base Fess, then we go with a Chief Fess, and then we go with this line in the center, which is just a Fess. There we go. Now for the R, we want to go with a Pale Dexter, a Bend, and then a Chief Fess up here. Then we want to go for an A, which is going to be a Chief Fess, a pale dexter, pale sinister, and then a fess in the middle. That is cobra. Then of course for Kai, we need to build ourselves a K. So we're gonna go with a pale dexter. Then we wanna go with this diagonal line, which is a bend. And then the inverted bend, which is gonna be a bend sinister for the K. We've already got another A there, so we can use that again. Let's build an I, super simple. This line in the middle a white pa uh, pale then we want to go for an N we're going to take ourselves a pale dexter a bend and then a pale sinister then we want to go for an E which we want to go for pale dexter fess chief fess oh sorry base fess and then chief fess whichever way around like so so that's an E and then we need to make a V. V's are really annoying. We can't make them center, sadly. So we're going to have to do a bit of a strange one. We'll have to go with a pale dexter like so. And then a pale, uh, sorry, a bend sinister like so. And that's kind of all we can get there, really. It's kind of sad. Then we're going to go for, we've already got an E and an R for the rest of the never. So we need to do the D and then the S for dies. I got another extra banner just in case. So, mostly because I mess up quite a lot. <laughs> so for this one, this is the D. It's a little tricky. Okay, guys, so I have cut kind of this section out. As you can see, there was a transition. That is because, do you remember I said I need an extra banner in case I mess up? I messed up. <laughs> Let's take a grey banner in our loom again. A white um, die in. Then we want to go for a chief fess. A base fess. Then we want to go with a pale sinister, which is going to be the right line. And now we want to swap out our white die for our grey to make a lozenge, which is this diamond in the middle. Grey die out for the white die with a pale dexter in like so. So it makes the triangle kind of appear on the right side. So it kind of halves the diamond a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and swap out the white die for the grey to go ahead and make the borgia. And that should make a D like so. Perfect. That's, that saves us one job, having to border that one. And now finally, let's make an S, and then we can border the lot and get them on the wall. So here, super simple. Chief S, a bend in here, and then base S. Always a pleasure building S's, so easy. Now let's go ahead and just border these ones. All of these like so. Very, very easy part of the job, which is lucky. There's so many letters in this tutorial, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I had to go and learn the alphabet and banners just so I could teach you guys this one. Let's go ahead and... Oh, not that one. That's my mistake one, but fine. We'll sort that out anyways. And there we go. Now, the tricky part is to get them all on the wall. Now, before we place the Cobra Kai number dies on the wall, let's go ahead and make our Cobra Kai logo. 
what actually brands this dojo. Let's stick a black die, sorry, a black banner in the loom. We need some red die to go in next with a red fess, so this line across the middle. Red die comes out for our yellow, and we need Borgia indented the banner pattern in first. So this thing here, grab that, put it back in. We need yellow lozenge, which is going to be this diamond, of course, like this. Put that back in, and then we need a chief, uh, sorry, a yellow chief indented, which is going to be this, those kind of three teeth on the top of the banner. Now we swap out the yellow die for our black die, and we get ourselves the border to border the entire thing off, make it look really cool and professional. And then of course we need to add in banner pattern globe to get ourselves the actual cobra look like so, and that looks awesome. Hell yeah. We're going to stick one banner here, here, and here. So now the front of the building is looking great. We're going to stick one on the wall just here as you come in the dojo. We are going to stick one, I think the last one goes in the back of the dojo. There's not any in this room. There is one in here though. It's going to be one just up here, a space away from the American banners. Hell yeah. As we're in the back room now, let's go ahead and stick our on the wall. Cobra Kai never dies. We will go two blocks to the left of this cabinet and directly up to the ceiling. C, O, let me move some stuff around in my inventory. B, R, A, K, A, I, and then down here, a space back from the C. Down below we add in our N, E, V, E, R again. Oh, I forgot to do the border indented on this one. We'll slow out in a moment. And then we leave a space and we do a D, I, E, and then of course S as well. I think I forgot to do border indented on the I too. So I have to sort that out in a moment. But hell yeah, that looks awesome. Guys, we have approached the end of this tutorial. The final thing to do, now we have ourselves the Cobra Kai Never Dies at the back wall. And um, by the way, I sorted out my border indented problem. <laughs> We're going to take ourselves five white banners, four black banners, some white dye, and some black dye. Firstly, we need to make the strike sign on the inside of the building. This is where it says strike hard, strike fast, no mercy. So we're going to go ahead and just go strike on the wall, just because we can't fit in the rest. <laughs> we're going to do ourselves in... Um, it's on a white banner, and it's going to be with black dye. So we need to make the S firstly. We will go with a bend first. Chief fess, base fess for our S. Then for our T, we will go with a chief fess. And then we go with a middle line here, which is called a pail. Then we want an I, so we literally just keep the pail there like so. Then we want a K, so we go with a pale dexter, a bend, and then a bend sinister just here. Now for an E, pale dexter, pally, uh, sorry, fess, sorry, uh, a base fess, and a chief fess just here. Now if we go ahead and take the black die out, put the white die in, and Borgia indent all of these. S, T, I, K, and E. And then we make our black banners just here. And this one needs to say karate. Now I know there's not enough letters here, but we only need to make the A once. So we take a black banner in, white die in. K is going to be made with a pale dexter. A bend down here. A bend sinister. An A is going to be made with a pale dexter. A fess. A chief fess to make an F. And then we go with a pale sinister just here. For an R, we go with a, a pale dexter, a bend, and a chief fess just here. For a T, we go with a chief fess, and then of course a pale in here. And we need one more banner, because I'm a donor and I forgot one. It is going to be for the E. And the E is pretty simple, as you guys know. All you need to do is place the banner in, die in, Pale Dexter, a Fess, Chief Fess, and a um, Base Fess like so. And then we need to forge it and dent all of these and make sure we get all of them this time. K, R, A, our T, and our E, like so. Oh yeah! Let's go ahead and place these. Do yourself strike with the white banners back here. It is going to be along this back wall here um, behind our little sort of dojo table. 
it is going to start with one here, here. Oh, you can actually do this one above the wall. Sorry, my bad. Sort that out. There we go. So we go with one here below the black concrete with one below it. T. I'm not sure if I did, guys, I, but I think I accidentally made two S's instead of an R. So I'm going to teach you how to make an R quick on the white banner. Super simple, like we did for karate. It's literally going to be for a um, pale dexter, a bend down here, and then of course our chief fess up here. And then we border and dent the whole thing as well. So there we go. I think I had one before, but I, I don't remember. So anyways, let's make another one. Then we want to get our eyes. <laughs> our eyes. <laughs> and then of course our K and then our E over here. And you should be one space away from the karate kick in the corner. Hell yeah, that looks so cool. All right, now we need to go ahead and make our karate sign up here on the wall. So scrap your inventory of the strike letters. All of them is fine. Grab yourself the karate letters into your hotbar, as well as the Cobra Kai Dojo logo. Come up here, Cobra Kai Dojo logo. K A R A T E, karate, and then the black banner on the center for the Cobra Kai logo for the dojo <laughs> epic that looks so cool guys well done we have finally completed the entire dojo one final final minuscule detail that you guys can add in if you want to is you come to the hallway just here you can take yourself a crimson sign and you can write on here exit super simple i know but um just a little detail that's also in the series so yeah guys that has been how to build the cobra kai dojo in minecraft I tell you what, it has been awesome to try and build a karate dojo in Minecraft for you guys because I am a big fan of martial arts. I haven't been able to learn it myself, but um, I just think it's so cool. I mean, who doesn't think it's cool? So um, yeah, it's been wicked to build a dojo in MC for you. Thank you very, very much for joining me for these very, very long parts. I do hope that it wasn't too boring for you guys, and I hope that you've managed to get yourselves a Netflix Cobra Kai dojo built in your worlds. If you guys have enjoyed this two-part tutorial series, please be sure to drop a like on it. That would be really helpful and hopefully get this video recommended to more Cobra Kai fans out there. If you're also interested in staying tuned for future Netflix tutorials and other Minecraft tutorials on my channel, please consider joining the guild today by hitting subscribe and becoming a member of the Assassin Hood. It would be awesome to have you. But until the next time, guys, you have an excellent rest of your day. I'm going to get in here learning some high kicks and stuff try my best to beat up Creel and uh, <laughs> I will see you all very shortly for another Wheelistan tutorial. Goodbye for now. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.